A woman has told a murder trial she thought she and her husband were going to die after he was shot at point-blank range in Skye. Faye McKenzie was giving evidence in the fourth day of the trial of Finlay MacDonald, who is accused of murdering his brother-in-law and the attempted murder of three others during the incident in August 2022. Our senior reporter Gordon Cree has the latest from the High Court in Edinburgh. Today, this trial heard from both Faye and John McKenzie. Mr McKenzie was an osteopath who had treated the accused, Finlay MacDonald, twice. But the court heard from Defence Counsel Donald Finlay KC that jurors would hear MacDonald had become fixated with Mr McKenzie over damage he believed was caused by treatment given to him. Mrs McKenzie today told the court that she thought both she and her husband were going to die during the incident at the village of Dorney in Wester Ross in August 2022. Finlay MacDonald is accused of murdering his brother-in-law John McKinnon on the Isle of Skye and the attempted murder of three other people including his wife Rowena MacDonald. Faye McKenzie told the court that on the day in question she was at home when she heard shouting and went to investigate and saw a man holding a long thin gun. She said she went inside before a shot was fired through the window. She said the man was waiting for her and shot her in the face. She then told the court she went to the bathroom to escape. Her husband arrived and she described how he was shot at point-blank range. She said, he was standing there, the man, and I thought, this is it. This is us going to be killed. But then my husband rose up and took the gun off the man. Mr McKenzie was flown to hospital. He told the court today he had lost a kidney in the shooting as well as sustaining other injuries. He said at the time of the incident, he told his wife, don't worry, he'll shoot me in the back once and then I'll get the gun off him. Finlay MacDonald denies all the charges against him and the trial continues. Gordon Cree, STV News and the High Court in Edinburgh.